Let's take a look at mapping and solidity. I'll explain how to declare a mapping both simple and nested. And then I'll give you an example of how to set, get, and delete elements from a mapping. First of all, what is a mapping and why is it useful? Mapping is like a dictionary in Python. It allows for efficient lookup. For example, here I have an array of names, Alice, Bob, and Charlie. And I want to find if David is included in this array. The way I will find it is to iterate each element in the array and see if it is equal to David. So I will look at the first element. This is Alice. This is not equal to David. I'll look at the next element, which is Bob, also not equal to David. I'll look at the next element, which is Charlie, also not equal to David. And now I know that in this array, David is not included in this array. That took us three lookups to find that David is not included in this array. Now using a mapping, we are able to do just one lookup and find our answer. Here in this mapping, we know that Alice is present, Bob is present, and also Charlie is present. But David is not included in this mapping. So using a mapping, we'll be able to find out in one lookup whether David is included in this mapping or not. To declare a mapping, we start with the keyword mapping, followed by parentheses. And inside the parentheses, we declare the key type and the value type. For this example, I'll create a mapping where the key is address and where the value is uint. So I'll type address, equal sign, greater than, so that it looks like an arrow, and then uint. I'll make this mapping public, and then I'll name this mapping balances. So in this example, this mapping will represent a balance of each address. If you give me an address, I can quickly look up the balance of the address. We can also create a nested mapping. To create one, again, we'll start with mapping. This time I'll create a mapping that goes from address to another mapping of address and finally to boolean. So we'll type address and then the arrow. And here I'll type mapping again, parentheses, address, arrow, and then boolean. I'll make this mapping public. And this mapping will represent whether an address is a friend with another address. So I'll name this nested mapping is friend. These are two examples of mapping. Let's now see how to set, get, and delete elements from a mapping. So let me show you how to set a key to a certain value in a mapping using balances. We'll say that the balance of message.sender is equal to 1, 2, 3. And we do that by typing balances of message.sender is equal to 1, 2, 3. The syntax to get the value stored in a mapping is similar to how we access an array. So to get the balance of message.sender stored in balances, we will type balances of message.sender. And this will return a uint, so I'll type uint val, short for balance, is equal to balances of message.sender. We can also get a value for a mapping that we have not set yet. For example, we can get the balances of address 1, which we have not set yet, and it returns a uint, so I'll declare variable uint val 2 is equal to balances of address 1. Notice that we have not set the balances of address 1, but we'll be able to access the values stored in balances of address 1. Since we have not set any value here, so what would the value over here return? Well, it defaults to the default value. The default value of uint will be 0, so this will return 0. Next, I'll show you how to update a mapping. Since we set balances of message.sender to 1, 2, 3 here, we'll update it by saying balances of message.sender is equal to 4, 5, 6. This will update the balance of message.sender. Now, if you wanted to increment the balance of message.sender, then we can do a shortcut, add a plus over here. This will mean to the current balance of message.sender, add 456. It's stored 1, 2, 3, and to 1, 2, 3, we're adding 456. So after this operation, it will be 1, 2, 3 plus 456, which is equal to 579. Now, if you want to clear a value stored in a mapping, then you will use the keyword delete followed by the place that you want to delete. Let's delete the value stored at message.sender. So we say delete the balance of message.sender. 
Once this operation is executed, the value stored inside balances for message.sender will be reset. So it will be reset to the default value. Again, the default value of uint is equal to zero. Let's take a look at a more complex example using a nested mapping is friend. We'll say that message.sender is a friend of this contract. So we'll do that by saying is friend message.sender of address this is equal to true. 